Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining our session. This is the session titled uh, Wikimedia Friendship between uh, Japan, Malaysia, and Turkey. And uh, speakers are uh, me, Eugene Normandy from Japan, um, Taufik Rothman from Malaysia, and Jana from Turkey. Okay. Okay, uh, first of all, I, uh, we will introduce how we collaborated. This is the overview of our session. Uh, in this session, we introduced two international projects. The first is uh, Japan, uh, Wikimedia Japan Malaysia Friendship Project, and the other is uh, Wikimedia Japan Turkey Friendship Project. Okay, let me share the history of uh, those projects. Hello? Yeah, so uh, those, these projects are based on our uh, personal friendship. So uh, I and Taufik and Jana met at Wikimania 2023 in Singapore and became friends and uh, promised uh, to collaborate something uh, after the Wikimania. So we establishing a friendship project after the Wikimania. Yeah, uh, those pictures are at Wikimania, Wikimania 2023 in Singapore. And under this project, this project, uh, we have held a lot of uh, activities. So one example is a, a large scale event with universities or embassies or GLAM. Yeah, and uh, in addition, we collaborated with uh, researchers, uh, public officers, and libraries. The photos uh, on the left side are the examples of that. The uh, upper side of uh, the picture is uh, Japan themed editathon in uh, Istanbul Bill University, and the downside of the picture is a, a simultaneous editathon in Japan and Malaysia. On that editathon uh, in Japan, uh, we held an editathon at Tokyo University of National uh, sorry Foreign Studies, and uh, in Malaysia, uh, Islamic uh, yeah Islamic University yeah. And uh, not only the large scale editathons, we uh, uh, also implement the small sized uh, events, such as uh, online editations and online casual meetings. In those uh, activities, we can frankly share our interests, ideas, and learn from uh, each other. The pictures on the left side, upper side, is uh, uh, Japan, Malaysia, uh, dictionary themed editations, and the downside is an uh, online meeting with uh, Japan and uh, Turkey Wikimedians. And uh, not only the events, or uh, offline events or online events, uh, we implemented other flexible uh, collaborations, uh, such as uh, sistership declaration between student club in respected countries. Yeah, uh, for example, the, uh, sorry, this one, <laughs> maybe it's worked right, <laughs> I hope. So uh, the photo of the upper side on the left is a uh, uh, declaration friendship of the uh, student Wikipedia community in Waseda University, Tokyo, uh, Waseda University, uh, Waseda Wikipedia Circle in my language, uh, and the Istanbul Big University Student Wikipedia Club. Uh, Jana designed uh, the declaration uh, document because uh, all of you know uh, Jana is a media contributor of the this year at Laos. <laughs> okay. So uh, he designed it many things for our friendship project, yeah. And uh, we also co-writing diff post. Diff is a blog media of the uh, Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, please raise your hand if you know about diff. Oh, almost all. <laughs> Great, I'm really happy. Maybe uh, two years ago, no one know about diff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So okay, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, in this project uh, we use a uh, logo which Jana, create, uh, Jana and Ali uh, designed, yeah. So, okay, uh, this is an overview of the, our uh, Z's project, and uh, in the next sessions, uh, we introduce about uh, Wikimedia movement, our uh, communities. So the first is a Wikimedia movement in Malaysia from Taufik Rossman, Taufik, please. Okay, hello everyone, I'm Taufik from uh, Malaysia. So here's the overview of the Wikimedia movement that has been happening in Malaysia. So um, here in Malaysia um, is an emerging community with uh, usually what we do in Malaysia is we do editing trainings and usually we collaborate with partners. And most of these uh, events, this training happen every month. So we have a very various focus. 
Um, one of them is language preservation, cultural content, and also content gap, and more than that. Because um, in Malaysia, we have a lot of languages, a lot of cultures, and usually it's not being represented online. So what we do in Malaysia is we try to um, document these languages, cultures, and have it publicly uh, free, available online using Wikimedia projects. And I would like to highlight the word partners here. So um, in Malaysia, we it's kind of hard for us to organize, especially uh, physical events, because um, what we are struggling is that try we are we it is hard for us to attract people to um, join our physical events. Um, so what we do is we collaborate with partners, for example, like um, the embassies and universities and others. Frankly, it was quite. Um, easy. I mean, it's not that um, quite hard for us to have partners to reach out with these embassies, with, it, with these universities, as long as you have more preparation and um, try to persuade them to have them in the event, then they would be really glad um, for us to reach out them. So uh, here is the the pictures here is the um, from Wikimania Singapore. So these are all of the um, participants that joined last year. So um, since Malaysia and Singapore is just near, it's very, very near. So um, most of them come to Singapore. And then the other one is there's a training for the Aboriginal language in Malaysia, and most of the uh, participants are from um, teachers, teachers who um, teach the language. And then, so yeah, Malaysia really love uh, collaborations. So like I said before, most events are with partners, ranging from university to embassies, because um, usually partners are the one that assist us to um, have the participants. So for instance, like universities, so we uh, approach with the, for example, the lecturers, with the faculties, and then when they agree that, okay, um, we can do this event in our university. So they provide with the venue, they provide with the participants especially, and from there uh, we can um, expand more. So for example, like the one um, at the bottom is an event um, in conjunction with French National Day that happened last month. So we uh, collaborated with the Embassy of France in Ke Kuala Lumpur and also with the Alliance Francaise in Kuala Lumpur. So it helps makes Wikimedia movement more visible in Malaysia because um, you know, we start from small, but then when we approach with huge um, partners, so it makes the movement more visible. And then here we have um, some events that happen um, within the friendship. So it's all started in 2022. So we've had our first join as a ton. So it's uh, focused on the 40 years of look is policy. So this policy happened in Malaysia where we tried to look at Eastern countries like Japan, Korea, and others. So it was supported by the Embassy of Japan in Malaysia. And we conducted this simultaneously, simultaneously in Japan and also Malaysia. So this was the poster um, for the event. And then next for this uh, last year, uh, we had an event similar like the previous one, but in conjunction with ASEAN Japan 50 years anniversary. So ASEAN is basically like the EU, but for the Southeast Asian countries. So here uh, you can see this is um, what happened in Malaysia. And then down there is um, uh, Eugene um, presenting about their projects. So what we do is, for example, in Malaysia, we write about Japan in our own language, 
and then in Japan they write about Malaysia in their own language. So I think this would be a great um model for other countries that would like to do something similar. So for example, like anyone from other countries, countries maybe like um Malaysia and for example from Egypt would like to collaborate together. So we can do something similar like this. Or even neighboring countries, uh, you can do something similar. And I believe that embassies are a great start to have this more collaboration and events because um, in my opinion, they are really open for collaboration. So um, don't feel too, over, um, feel too overwhelmed to um, approach them. I think they are a great start to have a m more... Um, to expand our movement in the country. So now I give it to uh, Jana for the one in Turkey. As Wikimedia Turkey, Wikimedia Community User Turkey uh, was founded in 2016. Also as July, uh, as of July 2024, we have more than uh, 50 members. Our aims is to uh, encourage more people uh, from different backgrounds in Turkey to contribute to Wikimedia projects like academics, uh, students, scientists, etc. Also, uh, organize events where local uh, contributors can meet and co collaborate in, uh, in the Wikimedia projects. Also, uh, we encouraging uh, local Wikimedians to become uh, more active on Wikimedia events uh, like uh, Wikimanias, Wiki uh, C meetings, uh, etc. Also, being a visible face of the Wikimedia community to build uh, partnership with state institutions, uh, NGOs, and some glam institutions. Uh, as activities, uh, we're doing some uh, interesting activities like Wikipedia education program, editatons, uh, wiki student clubs, contests, and hosting some Wikimedia events. As you see uh, on this photo, uh, there is a Pera Museum in Istanbul, Beyoğlu, Pera. Uh, Wikipedia was our project. Uh, if you uh, go to Pera Museum, you can see some famous uh, paintings and uh, you can see their uh, Wikipedia article QR code on the wall. In Wiki Wikipedia educate, uh, education program, uh, people getting to know Wikimedia projects, uh, especially Wikipedia, and uh, they finding some answers to their uh, questions also uh, they starting to, to starting to be uh, Wikipedian after the uh, education programs. Mostly, uh, we're doing at uh, universities, uh, some uh, cultural institutions, etc. As editatons, every year we're doing some editatons on Turkish Wikipedia, like uh, in s various themes like art and feminism, Wikigap, Glam, and uh, more. <coughs> In two years, four Wikipedia students, uh, Wiki students club established in Tur Tur Turkey. Also, that club has uh, some special uh, interest teams. If I give an example from my uh, Wiki club, my Wiki club uh, focused the collaboration with, uh, with other uh, Wiki clubs around the world. Also, as Wikimedia Turkey, we supporting to establishing more wiki clubs uh, in other universities. <coughs> and we organizing some contests like Wiki Loves Earth and Sea Spring. And last one, uh, we hosted and hosting uh, some Wikimedia events like Wikidata trainings for Turkic Wikimedians 2022 Istanbul, Turkic Wikimedia Conference 2023 Istanbul, and we will welcome to uh, you Wikimedia C meeting 2024 Istanbul. Now uh, Eugene will introduce.
Okay, hello, this is Yuji Nomadi from Japanese community. I will introduce the Wikimedia movement in Japan. And my presentation consists of two parts, uh, domestic part and global part. So uh, I will introduce the various activities in Japan and uh, the global movement uh, in uh, Japan in global movement. So uh, various activities. Uh, there are uh, a lot of Wikipedia activities in Japan, uh, such as uh, Wikigap, Wikipedia Town, Wikipedia Oya, Wikipedia Bungaku, other original Wikipedia project. Yeah, so uh, Wikipedia Editason project. So, uh, and not only on the in the GLAM or other institutions, uh, universities are often uh, collaborative with uh, Wikipedia movement. For example, some Wikimedians occasionally have a Wikipedia lecture at universities, and some researchers had a, a Wikipedia class about the translation on the one semester. Yeah, so uh, Dr. Kitamura on the here is uh, uh, one of the uh, such teacher. Yeah, uh, could you stand up, please? <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you. I really respect her work, and I started editing Wikipedia at her class. Yeah. So. Uh, not only the editing event, the documentation of these events are very popular in Japan, and Japanese Wikimedians started to uh, make a report of those events or other activities on Japanese TIFF. And sometimes it is uh, introduced, uh, translated into other languages. Yeah, the, maybe the unique point of the Japanese Wikimedia movement is such uh, activities were held uh, implemented without the uh, uh, affiliate, affiliated user group or the other centralized uh, institutions. Uh, I will, uh, maybe some of you know that uh, Wikimedia Japan user group was held, uh, established last year, but I will mention <laughs> later. Yeah, so uh, let me uh, introduce some in examples of the Japanese editors. The first is Wikipedia Town. Uh, please raise your hand if you know about the Wikipedia Town. Have you ever? Thank you. Yeah, so Wikipedia Town is a, a Wikipedia editing event uh, of the local information or local cultures, like Wikilabs folklore and so on. On this uh, project, uh, we can we photo work or edit uh, Wikipedia articles or the in the collaboration of the local libraries or local some glam. Yeah, the uh, photos on the right side is a mm, photo work of the Japanese traditional building or Japanese traditional cities and so on. The second example is Wikigap. Maybe uh, many of you know about the Wikigap. It is an international uh, campaign of the uh, closing the gender gap on Wikimedia project uh, in the collaboration with the Swedish embassy. <coughs> so it was also held in Japan and many ci other cities uh, other than Tokyo has uh, Wikigap uh, related events. So uh, let me share uh, the two Library, Japanese libraries, which are very collaborative to the Wikimedia movement. The first uh, library is Oya Soichi Library in Tokyo. Oya Soichi Library is a very small private library about uh, magazines. So it is very small, but uh, it has a lot of, ma um, almost all of Japanese magazines. Uh, editations at Oya Soichi Library, uh, we um, edit the articles about the Japanese subcultures or Japanese cafe or other uh, mm, interesting things using magazines. And uh, Oya Soji Library has a very unique catalog system or reference system. So through the Oya so Wikipedia Oya, it is an uh, editor in Oya Soji Library, uh, we try to clarify how unique it was by editing Wikipedia. So another example is Sanko Library in Tokyo. It is also the private small library and it has very a lot of uh, Japanese anci ancient uh, resources. So uh, in the editations, uh, we shoot them and uh, upload the photos to the Wikimedia Commons under the public domain licenses. Actually, uh, Sanko Library has already digitalized those materials, but uh, it was under the license of the CC by NCSA, so we cannot upload to Wikimedia Commons. So. I now uh, personally uh, negotiated to the staff member of the Sanko Library to change their licenses of their digitalized materials. So uh, it was uh, some uh, examples all around the world, so I introduced it. Uh, for example, the Ant Web on the, uh, on the Wikimedia Commons, yeah. So uh, 
this is a domestic part of the Japanese Wikimedia movement. Let me uh, move to the global movement. Uh, some of you know that uh, Japanese Wikimedians have not actively interacted with Wikimedians in other countries or global networks. So I uh, often uh, ask that why Japanese people don't join Wikimania all this time. So a lot of people ask me. So the reason, uh, I think the reason is two. Uh, one is uh, language barrier. So if you are a Japanese language user and live in Japan, you don't need to use English in your daily life. It, uh, there are a lot of Japanese resources, Japanese uh, users, Japanese uh, blah, blah, blah. So uh, <laughs> there, you don't have to use English in your life. So, so, it, so it came to that uh, few Japanese people are used to uh, communicating in English, yeah. And the second reason is few networks, uh, before, especially before the Wikimania 2023, a few Japanese uh, people know the Wikimedians around the world uh, other than Japan. But things have changed uh, uh, gradually, maybe. So Japanese Wikimedians start to join global, global Wikimedia movement. Uh, for example, uh, our friendship project, uh, Japan Malaysia and Japan Turkey as uh, examples, and uh, uh, attending uh, some Japanese Wikimedians uh, start to attending global conferences such as Wikimania 2023 in Singapore or ECAP conference 2024 in Malaysia or uh, Wikimania 2024 in Poland and so on. Uh, and as you know, uh, user group, uh, official use, uh, affiliated user group was launched in 2023. Um, Maybe uh, it is same to the other countries or other communities. Some Wikimedians join and some Wikimedians do not join, but we respect each other's activities, yeah. And uh, in addition, uh, translation of the diff paths uh, ver become very popular in Japan. So uh, some Japanese Wikimedians translate the diff articles on uh, English diff articles to Japanese and some Japanese Wikimedians uh, translate Japanese articles to English to uh, spread our uh, activities. Yeah, so this is uh, our uh, movement. So this is a wrap up part. How can we collaborate in the future? Yeah, uh, needless to say, we need more and more collaborations uh, in the respect of the topics, such as women, indigenous languages, buildings, and so on. And more uh, in the respect of the more projects, such as Wikidata, Wiktionary, or Wikimedia Commons, and so on. Yeah. Especially in Japan, uh, Wikimedia-related events only focus on the Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons. So I want to change the situation. Such as, especially, I want some Wikidata editathons in Japan. Yeah, and we need more and more partners. Yeah, so GLAM, embassies, universities, or uh, other institutions. So, so, in those collaborations, we can learn uh, from a lot from each other. This is a very a good point of a collaboration, I think. And uh, in the last of the session, uh, I will share the tips of for Wikimedians. Uh, three tips. Uh, one is a small-sized collaboration can make big success. So even though uh, there are only two participants or only two three edits, if you uh, document it, it becomes a so, uh, small success, and such small success will lead to big success. So uh, in the in the other words about the Wikidata, Wikidata user, uh, confirming the entities of our collaboration is quite important, yeah. And the second part is uh, creating logo for collaboration is very important and very useful. Um, as you know, uh, as you see on, on our slides, uh, there are a lot of designs of our editathons or other activities and so on. So it is uh, very useful to uh, spread our activities to uh, all around the world. So uh, if you want to start a friendship project and you, if you have difficulties in creating logos or other designs, our media contributor of the year will help you. Uh, okay? Yeah, he said okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the third thing is, maybe same things, uh, making archives of collaboration is uh, quite important and I think diff is uh, one of the best ways to archive your activities because uh, everyone can access them and search them. If you uh, 
Mm, creating project page on MetaWiki is also effective, but it is often uh, hard to search it, find it. But in diff about the diff post, it is very uh, easy to search because uh, if you uh, uh, put the keyword such as Malaysia or Japan uh, onto the uh, search box on the diff, you can uh, find easily the our report. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, what our session is ended. So thank you so much for listening. <laughs> oh, just time up. <laughs> okay, so any other questions in one minute or two minutes? Aya Wafi. Hello, my name is uh, Ahmad Wafi from Malaysia. And I admire all the hard work from all the young people in expanding the Wikimedia movement. Thank you and congratulations on that. My question is, uh, I look into the Sanko library, mm -hmm. which you work on. Is there any difficulties uh, in digitizing, in the freeing the, 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 the documents in the Sanko library? Because you say you were the staff of the Sanko library, is it? Mm -hmm. You were well, the staff of the Sanko library? No. Oh, you're not? Okay. No. Uh, I negotiated I the staff member. Personally. Yeah, is there any difficulties in it, uh, in digitizing it, and mm -hmm. how do you overcome that? Because in Malaysia, I think we did work on the some of the public institutions, like uh, the library. Mm -hmm. They did they did digitize their manuscript and some other documents, but they won't allow us to be publish them into the Wikimedia government into the public domain. Yeah, is there any other? Yeah. Yeah. Thank so, uh, uh, basically, uh, there. Those materials are public domain, so it is free to shot and upload it. But uh, it, it will cause some troubles or on libraries. So uh, before editing the editathons, we had we explained what is a Wikimedia movement or what is a public license or what is a CC license to the uh, staff member of the library, and they uh, uh, they said okay. So, so after this, uh, we host editathons such as uh, such digitalization. I uh, yeah yeah everyone. yeah yeah um very short memorandum <laughs> yeah, yeah to avoid the trouble but uh we have a personal network to the uh, staff member of the Sanko library so uh yeah we can avoid the trouble okay thank you so other okay a time's up yeah okay <laughs> maybe uh, okay time's up I think that's all the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the uh, end of our yeah, session. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.